Welcome to Mastermind Gameplay, where all in one defines efficiency. Today I'm just doing a walk around. I'm going to show you how I have modified this space pod. This is a general space pod that you would start off in any space pod custom world. We added a refinery earlier and a few solar panels, but I've added on since then. On the refinery, we have one yield mod and three speed modules, just because I'm breaking down a lot of tough ore. You have some uranium in there, platinum, and still a little bit of cobalt left. I modified the chassis to include having a large ion drive. Gives us the extra oomph we're looking for. We also have this lovely connector that'll extend past the solar panels. Overall, it is nuclear power that is a small nuclear reactor a gatling gun on top and assault cannons on the sides this may not have a lot of bang to it but it definitely keeps those drones off your back and if you can't get rid of the drones outrun them with this newly improved jump drive on the front here I've added a total of three drills. One drill just wasn't enough to completely take out the resources that we wanted. I've widened the entire body of this. Put an additional battery because originally it only had two batteries. Easy escape from either side. And for the most part, the interior is exactly the same. We are currently located outside of Mars where we may or may not build a base in the future. Aesthetically, it doesn't look too bad. We do have four ion thrusters in the front. Our drills spin no problem. Extend to the side. All with a touch of a button. It kind of looks like a turtle if you think about it. All completely compact very minimal easy to operate and currently on sale for the low low price of free well that's about everything on here as you can see the pistons extending for the connector so if you want to have a party or anything you can invite another ship over and go ahead connect and share resources I don't necessarily recommend it unless you're actually friends with them. As was mentioned earlier, the jump drive will get you from point A to point B in quite a hurry. So once this fully retracts on the connector, we're just going to aim somewhere kind of random and test it out. Currently I have it set to about 25 thousand kilometers and you can see it's already been charged the wonderful warping of light speed and we're off well sort of for the settings I have it it'll probably get you right out of the dealership and that's about it luckily we have this large ion drive in the back which will accelerate you fairly quick And that's about it. If you're interested in picking one of these bad boys up, I'll be adding it to Steam Workshop shortly. Well, as always, thanks for watching, and please add your tips and tricks in the comments section. I appreciate it.